These are the top five movies that I've seen so far in my home theater. A few caveats to start. This list is limited to movies that I've seen so far in my home theater. And these aren't necessarily the best movies I've ever seen, but they gave me the best home theater experience. At number five is The Avengers. This is interesting because my favorite Marvel movie is actually Infinity War, but I felt The Avengers struck me as a better experience in my home theater when it comes to audio and video presentation. The movie for me has everything. Audio was surprisingly good. The opening scene in the underground lab is a standout. I could hear the open cavernous space of the lab. All the sounds in that scene were coming through each speaker, including the Atmos channels. And the LFE was definitely there. And visually it's super clean, bright and vibrant overall, very colorful, lots of action, lots of big shots. And of course it was just a fun, cool ride for me. It, it just made for a good home theater movie. That's not to say that Infinity War wasn't. Again, it's my favorite Marvel movie, but while Infinity War was a better movie, The Avengers is awesome in this setting. At number four is A Quiet Place. This is an outstanding movie, and I love this movie's audio mix. It's a less is more approach to audio, which makes even the most subtle of sounds stand out. You can hear the wind blowing, birds chirping, rustling leaves, creaking wooden floors. And when something does hit hard because of the quiet nature of this movie, it's intense. It rattles the senses, but in a good way. And there's good separation in those sounds. I can hear a sound clearly in individual speakers. The use of Dolby Atmos in this movie is as good as any movie you'll see. There's a scene where the family in this movie hears something moving on the roof. I could clearly hear what sounded like footsteps through my height speakers. It truly sounded like footsteps were above me. It was creepy in a fun way. There's also a scene where one of the characters is in a flooded room. I could hear the falling water from my height speakers and the splash in the lower speakers and the sound of dripping water from other individual speakers. Just really an outstanding masterful audio mix. The visuals are good, they're not razor sharp, and the overall color tone is not super vibrant, but it works for this kind of movie. I thought visually it fit the tone of the movie. If you have a home theater, I highly recommend adding this to your movie collection. At number three is Pacific Rim. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. It was never going to win any awards for best acting or screenplay or anything like that, but this is a favorite because it's just plain cool and fun. It's a simple story with likable characters. No one's doing too much. It's got excellent action scenes. A massive display is truly the best way to fully appreciate this movie. And the audio is outstanding. Overhead effects are largely one note, but they are there. My subwoofer had plenty to do. Lots of big monsters and robots tearing through cities. A theater is really the best way to fully appreciate this gem of a movie. Also, an added note, I have this movie in 3D as well, and it is the best 3D movie I have ever seen. I'm a huge fan of 3D movies, and it really is a shame it's being phased out, but I won't go on my 3D rant, but I will say that both the 4K and 3D versions of this movie are outstanding. Blade Runner 2049 is number two. This is a very well done movie. For me, it did everything exceptionally well. Visually outstanding, the audio mix, including the LFV is a highlight, and the story itself is really good. It's a good ride. And my number one favorite movie to watch down in my home theater is Godzilla King of Monsters. Seeing Godzilla and all the other massive monsters on a large display is truly the best way to watch and really the only way to fully appreciate this movie. Lots of darker scenes with lots of spectral highlights. The 4K is pretty clean and pretty sharp. There are some very beautiful scenes, particularly the ones with Mothra. And as you can imagine, the audio is absolutely outstanding. Among my favorite audio mixes, the LFE hits hard and often. It truly is a must have if you have a home theater. A few under the radar honorable mentions that aren't huge action, superhero or disaster movies. Ad Astra was a surprise. Other than being set in space and starring Brad Pitt, I had zero idea what it was prior to watching. I like a good space movie, and at the time it was on sale. And it's a movie my whole family could watch for the first time for our family movie night, so I went for it. And it's a good movie. Audio-wise, it's very good. There were a few rocket launches, which will definitely shake your room. Video quality is good. And I won't spoil anything story-wise, but there is a scene on the moon 
that's a visual standout. Generally, the video isn't razor sharp, but it is good. So if you're looking for a good Friday night movie for the family, not super action packed, but a good home theater watch, give this a try. Arrival. This is actually one of my favorite movies of all time. It's definitely in my top 10. When I watched it in my theater, it was like watching it for the first time. A lot of wide shots, a lot of big shots, and the audio and bass in this movie is a huge surprise. There's a pretty long scene where the characters are inside a helicopter. That scene is so immersive. The audio is so good. I felt like I was in the helicopter. The score has a hint of Christopher Nolan slash Blade Runner 2049 vibe with the heavy bass notes in some scenes. It's not an action movie. There's not a lot of destruction. It's actually a beautifully shot movie and it translates well to a larger screen. And the audio, again, is a huge surprise. If you haven't seen it, give it a shot. There's excellent acting across the board. It's a sweet, thought-provoking, smart movie. So those are my top five home theater movie watches. List yours in the comments below. What movies for you are truly home theater worthy watches? And if you will, please give me a like and subscribe.